The clock is ticking, folks. The clock's ticking quickly on virtual reality and augmented reality. Great show yesterday on the show.live. I want to share some highlights with you. Let me turn the camera around first. Here we go. Hey, everybody. First stream this week since Easter. Hope everybody had a great Easter. Hey, what's going on, Becky? Good to see you. Doing fantastic. It's a great week. You guys, got to check out yesterday's show at the show. Dot live. There were some things that were discussed with virtual reality that are game changing. What is up? It's good to see everybody. And I just want to do a quick review with you, just a couple of minutes, and then we're done. Love the hearts, you guys. Really appreciate it. Just while people are coming in, my name is Mitch Jackson, Streaming Dot Lawyer. Thirty years of helping companies start up, do business, help them, and hold them hand through the litigation, formation, and trial process. Hey, it's great to see you and. You know, all in on live streaming, right? You guys know that I'm all in on live streaming, love speaking, love traveling around the country, just sharing a business person's perspective on this type of technology. So do me a favor, you guys, before we get started, swipe up on Android, left to right on your iPhone. Please share this as you're doing with your amazing audience. Really appreciate it. Great show yesterday on the show.live, okay? My co-host, Jen Hoverstead, and I had Malia Probst on the show. Malia is the host of The Real Virtual Show, realvirtualshow.com. You can also follow Malia on Twitter, and we talked about virtual reality. We talked about augmented reality. She shared some things with us that are on their way down, some things that are already here with respect to VR, but things that are coming uh, to us within the near future, within the next six to 12 to 18 months that you guys need to check out when it comes to virtual reality. After the show, my head was spinning. Uh, there are so many applications and concepts and business opportunities with this new technology. We talked about many of these technologies on the show and uh, I'm just excited. You know, and it's interesting, when you look at VR, when you look at virtual reality, augmented reality type of products and services, you guys, uh, you know, the we're just getting started and the possibilities are endless. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the Samsung Gear uh, 360 camera, check out the Samsung Gear VR, which is the Samsung Oculus uh, product, okay? And you know, what's my take on VR porn? Okay, we talked about that yesterday on the show out live in detail. It's interesting how that particular industry steps ahead of everybody else, you know, and uh, you can take a traditional offline or online business, uh, watch what they're doing and incorporate many of the technologies into what you do. So check out the show because uh, Malia did talk about that and there was a good dialogue about that particular aspect of the product. But going to Best Buy, going to Best Buy and put on the new Samsung gear. It's the headset, we called it a brick yesterday. Put on the Samsung gear and take a look for yourself because it's one thing to describe what VR is, it's another thing to see what virtual reality systems really do. Um, I walked in and I'm pretty familiar with tech, you guys. I've been there and done that and I've seen a lot of the latest stuff out there. But when I put on the Samsung gear brick and at Best Buy, it blew me away. Okay, and it raised, and we talked about at the show.live yesterday, we thought about a, a lot of different things and uses and applications of VR. So go to Best Buy, check out the Samsung gear. If you guys have already gotten the Samsung gear, let me know what you think in the comments. I really like your feedback on it. But we talked about, <clears throat> for example, I'm a trial lawyer. Right now, when, when we want to take a jury in a trial to a, uh, the scene of, you know, outside the courtroom, the scene of an accident or into a factory to see how something's manufactured or uh, in a criminal case, the scene of the crime. Oftentimes the judges won't allow us to do that because of cost, because of the expense and the time. It costs money to put the jurors into buses and to take them to a crime scene uh, with security uh, in a way where they're not um, experiencing or watching or looking at evidence that's not otherwise admissible. And it also takes up a lot of time. If we can, if the judges will say, well, if you can show us pictures, if you can show us a video, then let's go about it that way. We're not going to put the jury in a, in, a, in a bus and take them over to a crime scene. Um, with VR, with virtual reality, with augmented reality, we'll be able to put these items on our jurors 
and they'll be able to watch somebody walk through a crime scene either in real time or recorded and actually feel like they're there. They'll actually be able to look and turn their heads and experience and take in and perceive what it is that they're actually interested in looking at. Uh, the cost of doing so will be minimal as opposed to taking somebody to a crime scene and the impact to a jury is going to be phenomenal. You know, we, we've all heard the old adage, facts tell but stories sell. Let me add another section to that. Facts tell, stories sell, <clears throat> but virtual reality will change lives. I mean, that's how powerful this technology is. <clears throat> I would even say that, you know, we had the printing press back in the 1400s, which changed the world. We had, um, you know, the telegraph, Pony Express, television, black and white, color, internet, smartphones, those have all changed the world. This is the next thing. This is the next wave. It's not in addition to smartphone technology. It's a game-changing raising of the bar. And it's just amazing. So I was excited about what we talked about yesterday on the show.live. Check it out, you guys. It's the uh, most recent episode. You can find it at the bottom of the show.live with Malia Probst. And once again, she has a weekly show. The real It's the realvirtualshow.com, realvirtualshow.com. She talks about the latest technology. She interviews the latest in, um, innovators. She'll talk about the most current ideas on how VR is being used. And, you know, check it out because it's powerful stuff, you guys. Um, yeah, what's after VR? I see Facebook is going into VR. Yeah, well, Facebook bought Oculus. So that's the product that Samsung's using to do their brick. You take your Samsung phone, you put it in a device, you put it on your head, and you're good to go. It's amazing technology. The camera by Samsung is a Camera Gear 360. It's a, it's a camera that allows you to shoot 360 for VR use. I think it's three or $400. I mean, it's not really that much. And the technology is still evolving. Malia actually recommended to me, hold off on purchasing anything. Uh, because there's a couple of new updates and products coming out that she recommends. And once again, you can you can watch all of that at the show.live. But listen, guys, I just wanted to jump on. I miss being on Periscope. I can't wait to see you guys. If you want to connect with me, if you want to have a conversation about VR, please reach out at streaming.lawyer. Love to chat with you. Love to hear your views on this. Love to know what kind of technology you're using. We're going to be using VR uh, within the next 12 months here at the law firm. Uh, both to assist our clients with their cases, both to, thank you, it's good to see you too, both to, um, uh, with settlement packages, and hopefully, hopefully, what I really want to do is try a case in VR so that you guys feel like you're in the courtroom with me. Okay, as soon as we can set something up where I don't have to walk around with a camera, if there's some type of, uh, you know, subtle camera that's not that's not going to distract the jury, the judge or opposing counsel from me trying a case. I have no problem with putting it on and trying a case uh, in a virtual reality type of setting so that you will feel like you're sitting there in the courtroom right next to me watching everything that happens. And I think it's going to be fascinating. I think it's going to be great for young lawyers to learn how to try cases. I think it'll be great for the consumer to see what's really happening inside the courtroom. It's nothing like what you see on the news, okay? The reality is there's a lot of hard work taking place in the courtroom. Jurors are working hard, judges are working hard, counsel's working hard, and I think it'd be pretty cool. So as soon as I get the green light to do that, that's one of my goals over the next year or two is to try a case using VR technology, okay? So guys, connect with me at streaming.lawyer on Twitter at Mitch Jackson. We're here in Southern California. My firm is jacksonandwilson.com. You guys have a great Tuesday. Give somebody a hug today and make today your masterpiece. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.